Okay. This is my second video today because tomorrow is supposed to be a family day. I already re pre recorded one that will be posted tomorrow. But I have been a busy girl and gotten a lot done. So I just wanted to come on and ta da! Here's some finished items. Mostly, I have been working on my scrap yarn, use it up. Now, I went back through my videos and I found out that I got out the bag of scrap yarn on Sunday, August 4th. So it's taken me more than a week. I still have two dark brown, one lighter brown, and one tan left. So I'm getting there. But I like this one. This is Hildy the Highland Cow. It's a free pattern by Yarn Society. I have made so many Hildies. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, when you do the bangs, you could do them three different ways. You can just get your yarn and thread it through and leave strands of worsted weight hanging in front of her eyes. That's option one. Or you can go a little extra and separate all the strands. That's what I usually do. Or you can go extra, extra, and once you've got them separated, brush them out with a doggy brush. And that's what I did with this one. Oh, and she's, she's got such, such some things. Last Saturday, when we went to the farm with my daughter and granddaughter, there was a Highland cow there. And this is sort of, her name was Britta. And this is sort of what Britta looked like. You couldn't see Britta's eyes. She just had such a such a bunch of bangs in the front of her face. So I went to Hobby Lobby and got these little cowbells that actually make noise. And Hildy Tan, I'll probably call her Sandy, is ready to go into my Etsy shop. Yay! Continuing with the yarn use up. I used some of the brown yarn and made a chicken. Now when I'm doing a scrap yarn challenge like this my rule is you can add other yarns to the scrap yarn like the yellow, the red, and the sport weight white that I mixed in here were not in my scrap box but they helped me to use up something from the scrap box. And since I have a chicken Oops. I have a bag for her and I'm going to eventually put on a little leather tag that says emotional support chicken. I cut up the tags and sent them down to my husband's workshop. So before my next show, this one will have a tag. Oh, another thing that was on my to-do list, I'm running sort of low on flip coffees. So I want to make up three of them. So there's the first one. There's my sad coffee orange. And the happy coffee yellow. Yay! This is a variation on my free coffee, um, happy coffee pattern that is on my blog. I did go up a little bigger with this to make it easier to flip. So I need to update the blog post with directions. And this one is completely no sew. For the other one, I had, um, you sewed on the handle, but with this one, I made it so that the handle is attached as you go and there's no sew. And these flip so nicely with a little bit more. The other one, I just went up to 24 stitches and this one I went up to 30. And I think that works much better for a flip coffee. And last, but certainly not least, it, definitely not least, in the eyes of my granddaughter. For the last couple of days, the stingray of the day for one day was this blue one, which I just dropped on the floor. And the stingray of the day for yesterday was this orange one. So now, come here, little stingray. We have 
five stingrays in the basket. Gray, a slate blue, bright blue, shiny silver, and orange. I'm getting there. I'll have to find some fun color for today's stingray of the day. That's it. That's my finished projects. I have sketched up my August Monster of the Month. I'm going to try to work on that today. Also going to try to work on publishing the July pattern to my blog. And doing a little bit more organization towards the Mr. Yarn Challenge. I've gotten, I think, six or seven emails of people participating so far. So I'll put a link in the description of the video from earlier this week where I announced that I am helping Lori out by taking over the administration of Mr. Yarn Challenge. And, um, sorry, I just got distracted. Oh, okay. We have someone, someone is favoriting items in my Etsy shop. I saw an Etsy notification flash on my camera. Okay. Someone's favoriting items in my Etsy shop. So I will link the video where I did the introduction to Mystery Yarn Challenge. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go work on the laptop. There's a lot of stuff I need to do on the laptop. Can't play with yarn just yet, but I'll get there eventually. So, bye-bye.